And we continue to watch what's going on in the airline industry. Um, a bidding war happening for Spirit Airlines. Really interesting stuff here. Uh, Spirit had agreed to be bought by Frontier for $2.9 billion. Now JetBlue coming in with an unsolicited offer of $3.6 billion. That's 33 bucks a share, by the way. And you can see Spirit's trading under 27. So even with that 22% gain today, um, JetBlue really going, going big here to try and win um, Spirit Airlines. Um, Frontier, by the way, has come out and said that this combination of these competitors would raise fares and reduce flight options. Both JetBlue and Spirit do have large East Coast presences and lots of overlapping routes. Now, if you're a bull on that deal, you might say, well, that would allow them to save some money by synergies. Um, but we'll see what regulators, if anything, uh, what they have to say about this, if anything, if indeed, depending on which which uh, suitor um, for, uh, Spirit ends up taking. But Saz, it's, it's an interesting situation here. Yeah, a little fun fact, that ticker symbol on Frontier, ULCC, stands for Ultra Low Cost Carrier. Can't make this stuff up. That's actually what it is. It's pretty fun. And then, of course, the ticker on uh, Spirit is Save. But anyway, uh, look, I, I am, I'm questioning, I think, JetBlue's uh, offer here. It, this is likely not going to get passed by regulators. So that's just one hot take. And then secondarily, is JetBlue just making this deal under the hopes that Frontier comes back, raises its offer, perhaps tax on more debt on its balance sheet, and they are now a wounded competitor? These are just some of the considerations you have to think about when you see this types, these types of competing deals for a strategic asset like Spirit. Yeah, and meanwhile, they're competing to be what? The, the um, fifth largest airline, I believe. Either combination would make them the fifth largest airline. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what we're talking about here in terms of you and know, it's, critical mass, if you will. And mm -hmm. it's a compelling deal. Julie, we just talked to Frontier CEO Barry Biffle. Uh, I like some of his uh, rationale for combining with Spirit. Uh, it would look like if JetBlue does, in fact, get Spirit, I mean, the overlap on the East Coast would be significant. It, the deal between Frontier and Spirit, at least on paper and operationally, it makes a lot more sense. And I think you're seeing Wall Street analysts come out here in support of that view. Yeah, so um, it certainly seems to be trading, though, like, Either way you slice it, Spirit could potentially be the winner here. And uh, as we see, uh, both of those stocks fall um, in the early going.